In this tutorial, we'll go over how to start a design document with CAD tools. If you're already familiar with working in CAD tools, you may want to move on to the new features tutorial. If CAD tools is installed properly and we create a new document in Illustrator, we'll see CAD tools located in the Illustrator toolbox. There are 10 new tool groups, all with red point markings. And we can pull them out by dragging the tear off icon at the end of each set. CAD Tools icons have red dots that show how and where to click the mouse to create your CAD art or dimensions. For example, if we look at the Arc by Radius tool, there are two red point markings. That simply means that it takes two clicks to define that arc, the first one to define the center and the second to control the arc distance. As with most other CAD tools, you can simply click on the drawing and not drag to define the settings numerically. Now let's look at the dimensioning tool group. I'm going to select Bezier length dimension and you can see it also has two red point markers which means I simply click once on a curve and another time on the curve to drag out the dimension. All of the dimensioning tools are that simple. Now many projects require that we work smaller or larger than actual size so we can easily print and review designs. This requires that we work in scale, meaning a ratio that represents how our measurements are reduced or enlarged to fit on our artboards. CAD Tools installs 10 panels, one of them which is CAD Scale. We use CAD Scale panel for controlling document or layer based scale. We can see that our current document scale is set to 1 to 1. But that might not work for designing a sign or building. If we chose an architectural preset of 1 8 of an inch equals 1 foot, for instance, if you watch the dimension values over here, and I press apply, you will see the values change to reflect the new scale. Since our dimension is live and attached to the object, Anytime we move the object around, our dimensions will go along with it. That includes if we resize. I'll resize this arc, and you'll see the arc length dimension will adjust with it as well. If we don't want our dimensions to attach or update this way, we can change this and many other settings in the CAD Tools Preferences. On Mac, it's under the Illustrator CC menu, Preferences, CAD Tools Preferences, on Windows, it's in the Edit menu. We can see that the default is checked for creating and using a dimension layer. This is a really important feature that maintains a dimension layer in the Illustrator Layers panel to keep the dimensions organized and separate from other artwork. You can see that here in the Illustrator Layers panel. Other settings that control the appearance of dimensions are located in the CAD Dimensions panel. For instance, we can change the Terminator styles. We can also change the text size and many other appearance values. There are also a lot of settings in the CAD Units panel. This is where we control the units that are used in our dimensions. For instance, I'll change this from centimeters to inches. Remember, we changed our scale to an eighth of an inch equals a foot, which is why this line appears to be 522 inches long. This is the power of scale. It lets us draw things smaller or larger than life size. These panels and several others help you create customized dimensions for more polished design documents. And we can access all the panels from one central location in the CAD dashboard panel. The CAD dashboard gives us access to all the top-level tool groups as well as every panel available in CAD Tools. The CAD Help panel gives us help on any topic, including video tutorials right at our fingertips. The user guide will automatically update to the selected tool so you have help when you need it most. If you ever get stuck, don't hesitate to call us or send an email so we can help you out. Tech support is free 
and friendly from here in California.